though, for real. I'm actually, like, going to try to start this whole YouTube fitness channel now. Um, yeah, I, I posted it on my Instagram, and I uh, got a lot of uploads to go to it, so I guess here we go, right? Um, so with this YouTube channel, I'm going to be, like, vlogging my... <laughs> Uh, my journey towards like 10% body fat and towards getting like looking awesome and eating healthy and I'm kind of doing this as a little bit of motivation and because I like to watch it and see and hope and I hope I can inspire other people to do the same thing um yeah so we're just gonna cut right now because I'm not at the gym, but I'll see you guys soon, right? What's up? So, um, I'm just gonna give a little size update. Going for 24.8. And, you know, just like casual before the gym. So this is Future Chris talking, I uh, was watching this video back and forgot to narrate everything, but in my head I was thinking here, you gotta keep your muscles loose so that that you stay loose. Um, your muscles are like steaks, and if steaks are cooked without being defrosted first, they break and tear. So if your muscles are kind of the same way you just like you have to do your meat you have to defrost them and stretch and make sure that blood is going to your muscles and make sure that you're warm because otherwise you don't want to pull something or get really hurt so I like to do this on my heavy leg lifting days so that I know uh, my legs are gonna be okay for today tomorrow and the next day So this is a clip right here where I'm doing three sets of 30 seconds each of kettlebell swings at 45 pounds and this is my like little hit plus wet legs 
pre-workout workout it uh it really gets that that burning feeling in the like in the hamstrings and your glutes so it's a it's a great workout that I normally implement on my Thursdays because it's it hits a lot of the muscles that I didn't already hit via squat or deadlifts this week it's because they're such a great core workout as well as legs and it's just a whole great stabilization workout that I love to do I really learned how to do these during baseball and I just wanted to let you guys know with these big lifts and when you expect to do a lot of weight you always want to warm up with a weight that feels light and comfortable and that's why I always start with just one and then gradually move up towards the heavier weight and what I want to get to so we're doing here we're doing uh, four working sets let's say of 10 reps at 45 pounds on each side so I ended up getting uh, five plates today for either eight, ten, can't remember. Um, and yeah, it was an awesome workout. I felt amazing after that, but my legs were dead. So after that, I eventually moved on to shoulders, which will be in the next clip. kind of looked all choppy. I tried to edit it as much as I can so that there was less downtime. I'm new at this, guys. God cut me some slack, alright? So, right we're working at uh, 35 pounds, a little warm-up set right before I get into lifting a little bit heavier. I'm sorry about the angle. I will definitely try to find a better angle next time. Um... But here, yeah, we're just working out, getting uh, getting 10, just a little quick pump, just to get my muscles all ready and fit up. So from here, we start and we go to a 45, and then from that, we go to, uh, I believe, a 55. And then at the end, the camera dies, but I ended up getting 60 for 10 reps which was awesome I felt awesome about myself and so now we're gonna I'm gonna show you the core workout post workout in the gym and then we'll get the the outro going and we'll be all good so
Hey, I'm back. Um, sorry. Yesterday, my camera died as I was at the gym. I hit, at the end of that set, I hit, uh, 60s for 10, which was awesome. And then, after that, I did some more, just, like, walking around and lifted some other weights. Nothing really that was that big. No deadlifts, no squats, because I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. But I did, um... Cardio for me is more of a very, it's an occasional thing, alright, but it's, uh, it's good, and I like to keep my heart and everything going well, and with this journey towards 10% body fat, I'm going to relatively need to do a little bit more cardio. Um, it is what it is. So, I'm probably starting around 15, 16%, and here's just the journey, and I'm showing you right now the ab workout. So, let's get into it. My, like, everyday ab workout. Seven, eight, nine. And then from that, we go into 45 seconds. I have to get my phone. We go into 45 seconds of these things called Black Widows. And they suck. <laughs> but uh, let's get to it, I guess. I normally do one to two sets of that, just because 
It's so hard. And then from that, I then do these butterfly sit-ups, which you're trying to do all of these until quote-unquote failure or until you feel like you can't do anymore. So we're going to do three, four, or five sets of butterfly sit-ups, all right? One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. We have a ten second rest in between. We're going to do one more set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That from that we then go and do 45 seconds of oblique work which I call like the sideways suitcase or something I forget the name of it but it also sucks all right five four three two one Alright, I normally do one or two sets of that. Today, I'm just going to get one. Then, we got two more exercises left. We got the, like, crunch and just flex your abs for a little bit. So, I normally do two to three sets of that, of ten reps. And then, after that, we do the side sit-ups, which... We just kind of do that until failure, and then we're done, and then we hit you with the outro, and boom, we're done with the video.
one set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two or three, I forget. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. And that's it. We're calling it. I'll talk to you in the outro. Have a great rest of your day. Also, I don't know if you guys wanted to see, but this is the post workout, post ab workout, little ab pump that I have going. I know it's not perfect, it's not great, but what are you gonna do, right? Alright. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and a comment and tell me what you want to see in the next one i'm going to be doing this journey of my steps towards 10 percent body fat and if you enjoy please like comment and subscribe